Hey everyone, Dr. J from FlexorDrJ.com. Today we'll be discussing how to master your first push-up. I'll be showing you a few different progressions that will allow you to achieve your first 10 full body push-ups. For me, I do about 150 to about 250 push-ups per day, and it's taken me quite some time to get there, and I do it on a daily basis. For one, it improves core strength, it improves pushing strength, and your, your strength and ability to do things in front of your body. See, majority of our tasks that we do with our arms are in front of our body, so that's why the push-up is really good to keep your shoulders healthy, keep your chest strong, and ultimately, develop a pretty strong physique. So let's go ahead and get onto the mat right now. Let's dive into our first progression. And the first place to start, honestly, is doing push-ups on your knees or at a counter. So when I get onto the table, the first thing that I want to think about is my elbow position. Now many people, they'll have their elbows flare out and they'll flare out pretty far. So what that happens is that when you have the elbows that are too high up, that puts your shoulder at a more vulnerable position that might create some impingement or some strain in your shoulders. And the elbows, you usually want it to fall anywhere between 30 to about 60 degrees away from the body. So how you do that though, is that when, for example, you see that the elbow pits, I always look at the elbow pits. If your elbow pits are completely facing each other like this, and they're mirror images, you want the elbows to face at a slant. How you do that is you need to screw the ground, and with your right arm, you want to think about rotating your arm clockwise when it's on the ground, and also the left arm counterclockwise, so that way the elbow pits, when I'm in that position, as you can see, the elbow pits are facing more at a letter A, or more at that 30 to 60 degree angle. So, when I get back onto the table, I want to think about my hands are fixated on the ground and I'm going to rotate my elbows to about 30 to 60 degrees so that when I go into my push-up, the elbows are not flared out here, the elbows fall to about the, my sides of my body. The first thing that you want to start off with is your knee position. And so this allows you to not put as much strain on your abs or your lower back, especially if you're not used to push-ups yet. Again, what I'll do is with the right side, I'll turn clockwise, left side turn counterclockwise, and then I want to dive down into even just a partial push-up. The, uh, the chest does not have to go all the way down, but this is often a good place to start for many people. If this was still difficult, what I can do is I can switch myself onto a counter or even onto a wall, and that would even be a good place to start. So essentially, the more inclined you are with your push-up, it's going to be a little bit easier. And a wall push-up, if you're somebody that really doesn't have a lot of strength in your upper body, you can always start with your hands on a wall and perform the same exact exercises. So once you've accomplished about 10 to 15 of these knee or partial push-ups, the next thing I want to start off with is doing a little bit of eccentrics. So how I can start that is I want to start on my feet here, and I'm gonna dive down and lower myself down. Now if I can lower myself down all the way slowly, that is preferred. If, let's say, you lower yourself down even to here, and you simply just drop down, that's okay. What I'll do is then I'll bend my knees and push back up. So I'll show you one more time. It's lower myself down. Once I feel like I can't lower myself down with good control, I can drop down, bend the knees, push back up. Lower and then push back up. Okay, so that's one of the easier progressions to start with is you start off with the partial push-ups. Eventually, you can venture towards bringing your feet out and controlling yourself down eccentrically in that full push-up position, followed by then bending your knees and then pushing yourself back up during the concentric portion of the push-up. Okay, so alongside with that, just ensure that you can build your chest strength in many different ways. If you know the prerequisites for push-ups and you know that mainly you're working your pectorals, which is this muscle in the front of your chest, along with your triceps, also make sure that if you want to accomplish your first push-up that you're strengthening your abdominals. You can also do other chest exercises like dumbbell bench press, some light dumbbell bench press, or you can do some tricep pushdowns or some other tricep related activities 
That way you're building the accessory muscles needed to accomplish your first full push-up. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. But also, I love to make videos like this and to keep growing this channel organically, click that subscribe button so you never miss out on any of these other trainings. I'll see you in the next one.